Hello everyone, it's Prophet Aaliyah Connect and I am here to dish everything that the Lord has been telling me about the presidential race. Don't usually do this and I was not intending on doing it. I was on the phone with my cousin and the Lord drew this word out of me. He told me to go and give it to you all. Now God has shown me things over the years and I'm intentionally only stating what God tells me to state out loud and then I keep a lot to myself. But tonight is the night where God said, tell it all. On July 22nd of 2022, I was on my lunch break and I heard the Lord tell me to stop and write down what he had just shown me. Kamala Harris was standing like this and she was being sworn in. She was giving her statements, her presidential uh, acceptance statements, like all presidents do when they're being sworn in on January 20th at the beginning of the year after an election, after a successful election. Now, fast forward exactly two years, Joe Biden bows out of the presidential race and Kamala Harris accepts his endorsement and she decides to run. She announces this on July 21st. And by July 23rd, she was in my hometown, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, giving her very first rally as a presidential candidate at the top of the Democratic Party ballot. She announced on this day, July 22nd, that she had gotten enough, garnered and earned enough delegates to be the nominee. This is all written down. The timestamp is on aliaconnect.com. You have to go to Kingdom Column, so click on the link and you'll see right now, she's the very last post that I've written on July 23rd. Now, during lunch again, I said, boy, this is interesting. Okay, so remember exactly two years, I wrote, I wrote this down on Facebook. All over, July 22nd of 2022, I got the timestamp and I said, wow, this year, I said, it's interesting because I remember around this time, Two years ago, I had a vision about her. And I said, oh, eventually, I'll go and check it out. I'll go and see when I wrote it. Later on that day, when I got off of work, God said, this is the day. Go see when you wrote this down. So as I was writing the article on Kingdom Column, I, in my research, had to go back and see what day I actually wrote it. And I knew it was linked to 74. I knew it was a special day because I remember that two years, it was like 74. So I didn't know if I wrote it on July 13th, July 22nd, and it was July 22nd. So within 24 hours, basically same day nearly, that the Lord showed me the vision two years prior is the same day within hours that she announces her run for presidency. Now, around this time was the first time that the Lord told me to pray for Biden, his health. The next day, he was diagnosed with COVID. This happened in 2022. This year, 9.53 p.m., this was last week, about a week ago, I wrote, pray for Biden's health. And there were some other things that I wrote about guarding his life as well. Because a lot of his uh, circle did not want him to continue on that ballot. But God said, put down, pray for Biden's health. I did that. The very next day, again, the White House publishes a press release, this time at about 6 p.m. The next day after I published this on my pages, I post, I shared on Twitter the exact time that I posted this and it was confirmed that he had COVID the very next day. So we needed to pray for his health and well-being. He is still alive about, yet, no, this was yesterday. He did his um, press release from the Oval Office explaining his decision for removing himself from the ballot. Now, this broadcast is entitled The Lesser of Two Evils. This is not to say that any human being is evil, but we are in some evil times. This is not me pointing the finger at anyone. This is not a slanderous conversation. This is not a disrespectful conversation because anyone's heart can be turned back to the Lord. Anyone can be filled with the Holy Spirit. What God is pinpointing is the things that are happening and what is being allowed and incited the Democratic Party is known for being very liberal, allowing same-sex marriage to be exact is one of the primary things that the Lord is very unhappy about. Now, on the, on the uh, right side, God is talking about the incitement of rape 
very specific. My cousin and I, I have a very prophetic family. My cousin and I had a double dream. About three months ago, I had a dream that a, an older black woman was being raped by a white man. I have nothing against white men. Um, I know that I have some in my lineage. I've been educated by several white men and employed by several, including black men and black women, etc. So I have no issue with anyone. Everyone actually I have love for. So this is not a racist comment. But what I'm saying is what the Holy Spirit has been showing me. I saw a black woman being raped by a white man. And these were older beings. The black woman, she was, it looked like slave time. It looks like what we would see in a movie. But our ancestors really did experience these, these things. This is what I saw. I was having a conversation with the exact same cousin. And she said, you know, I had a dream. And she saw Trump. And she saw a pastor, a very well-known pastor, I think it was Jesse DePlantis, in this dream. Remember, nobody's being put on trial here. I'm just telling you our truth. And she was being laid down. And then someone put a cover over her, a white cover. So again, this black woman being laid down by white men from behind. Today, God brought this all into context for me. He said, firstly... To tell the people that I speak with personally to pray that Trump does not win. And I don't want to say this publicly because I voted for Trump, actually, uh, when he was in office back uh, four years ago. Okay, the, At the end of his term, he didn't win that term, but I knew that he had the favor of the Lord. I did vote for him. So this is not against him. But what has happened in terms of my awareness, what God is saying is that his heart has become hardened towards the American system because what he has gone through legally gone through, put, put through the courts. Even his own son got up there on the Republican National Convention, which also took place in my hometown of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm mean, currently living in Chicago, Illinois. And I've lived in Chicago for over a decade. I lived in Texas for four years as well. And I recently came back to Chicago. They were in our hometown. And one of them, went up, one of his sons went up there and said, and I'm going to get right back to the story. Don't worry, but this is, this is included. It was very arrogant and entitled saying that the Obamas were in office for their uh they they were able to enrich their family and they were in there by necessity this is that same spirit of like arrogance and uh potentially even ownership over the over women's bodies and this has been the topic of conversation with the reproductive health but God is saying lesser of two evils not to say that Trump or Kamala is evil is to say that what is being incited is a lesser of two evil, meaning that God putting her in office is stopping this incitement of this spirit of rape, particularly towards black women. Now we have heard countless times of black women coming up missing in the thousands, in the thousands, you all, being dismembered, bodies, body parts being found on the freeways. The defense of the black woman in many cases is yes, the people who have the spirit of God, but also God, no matter what race they are. And so I believe what God is doing, and he summed this up for me today, the reason why we had these dreams is because God is protecting women as a whole and including black women from the spirit of rape. And he did not mention like reproductive health, but we know that this reproductive conversation has come up and it's been um, a target of the, of the Republican Party to stop abortion. Now, I don't believe that people should get abortions casually. I believe that it should only happen, uh, and God said, I'll say what God said, only if the child's life is at risk. God didn't even say if it was the, the, the woman's life at risk. He said, if the child is dying, then do it. Then that would be permitted. Now, I'm going to stick with what God said. So, some of you are saying, well, Aaliyah, how could you say that you saw Kamala? I, I'm, God, I have one job, primarily. Is to tell you what I see when God tells me to. And I'm, I'm telling you, the majority of the things that God and I talk about, I don't speak on. So when he says, go forth, tell them, that is a big deal. So I invite you to go to my pages. Look at the timestamps. Look at how the Lord sat me down and said, hey, tell this to everyone. I believe it is coming. And it is to protect women, including black women. 
I pray that if you are a woman or a man, black, white, Indian, Asian, Hispanic, whoever you are, know that God loves you and God is shielding you in your interests as well. But there is a, a really deep rooted antagonistic behavior toward the woman and her body and this sense of ownership over the woman's body that the that God has come to intercede and I need everyone to understand whether you're democratic or republican God is defending the woman in this race God bless you all I'll say one more thing. Pray that Kamala Harris is filled with the Holy Spirit. I saw a vision of her and there was a demon coming out of her. Now, I'm not saying this demon is going to stay. Maybe we need to pray. I'm not even saying 100% that y'all should believe anything that I'm saying. I'm just telling you what I know God has told me. Saying that for legal purposes as well. I saw it speaking to me. And it was saying, would you vote for me? Or like, would you pray? No, it said, would you pray for God's favor that I win presidency? Now, I didn't, I'm not praying that anyone wins presidency based on anything other than God's will. That's what I saw. This was this past week. And I then saw her signing papers, okay? But I already knew when I got this vision that she was already being, like I saw in the spirit that she was being sworn in. So I'm thinking, why am I seeing this now? God wants her host, the, the human host, to be swept clean before she gets into office. He wants her to be so full of the Holy Spirit to where if there was any hardship, any pain, any anywhere where the devil try to use her as a vessel for his kingdom. He wants her to be purified and filled with his power, knowing that she will be even more powerful with the spirit of God operating on the inside of her. So if she has confessed that she believes in Jesus Christ publicly or privately, great for her. But if she has not, this will be a great time to really sit with herself and say, what do I truly believe? You know, do I really believe the word? Do I really believe in Jesus or not? Kamala, if you are listening to this, the Holy Spirit has chosen you. And he's just acknowledging, in my humble opinion, that there is an opportunity to be, if not already filled, more filled with the Holy Spirit and be swept clean from any demonic force that might have been using you. I'm using you as a, as, a, as a potentially a puppet, using you as a chess move or however, you know, how politics work, positioning you. When you get into that office according to God's will... He needs to be the one in charge. Not the one that starts with the O or anyone else. It needs to be the Holy Spirit if he's going to give you this opportunity. Listen, you all, I take this word very seriously. I don't take anything I'm saying lightly. So if you have taken this time to listen to me, you need to know it's coming from a pure heart. No one's persecuting anyone. I'm just getting us all prepared for what God is doing right now. And he is saving us from the lesser of two evils. I love everyone, whether it's Biden, Kamala, Trump, all of the leaders. And I thank you for your service. But we've got a real enemy against our soul. And we need to all be unified and do the will of the Father. Only one candidate can win. And God will choose the candidate that has the most ability to serve and protect the interest of all people. And right now, that's women right now, especially. Because that's who's really under attack, according to the word I'm receiving from the Lord. Love you all. God bless you. And I'll see you for the next prophetic release.